Alrighty, everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Lori, Gemini Tarot, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a general reading. Um, this is going to be a general reading for all signs. This is going to be a very generic, this is going to be for Monday and Tuesday, so this is going to be for August 13th and the 14th for 2018. So uh, this is going to be a general reading for all signs. So I'll break it down by all signs, by earth, fire, uh, water, and air. I think I said that. Earth, fire, air, earth, fire, water, and air. I'm fucking tired. As you can tell, I've been doing this shit all motherfucking day. I've been doing this since like 9, 10 in the morning, nonstop doing nothing but tarot readings all for you. So I hope you fucking appreciate it. What you should be doing is liking this shit and following me. So the more that you follow me, the more that I'll do this, this will give me more incentive on doing this. And then I can do live readings and all that fun stuff. Okay, here we go. So first I'm gonna go ahead and do a reading for my Capricorns, uh, not Capricorns, excuse me, for my earth signs. Well, it will be Capricorn. So it's going to be a general reading for all my earth signs. So this is going to be Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So it's going to be all earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This is going to be for the 13th and the 14th for August 2018. What the fuck is going on for my earth signs for the next two days? For Monday and Tuesday. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo for the next two days. The fuck's up? The fuck's up? A lot of you are going to be mourning, going through some sort of mourning person, maybe missing, longing for somebody, maybe somebody that you wanted to be in a relationship with, you wanted to have more of a deeper connection with, they're rejecting you, you're not going to have your wish granted. Um, just because you manifest hoping that you want a particular person doesn't mean that you get your wish granted, okay? You can't force somebody to be in love with you, to dig you, to want to commit to you. You can't force that, okay? Um... You know, if they're destined to go on a different path, then that's their destiny. You guys may meet up later, but in the time being, right now, this is not the case, okay? You are living in the past, and this is not in a good way, okay? You're just, you're making like the same fucking mistakes over and over again, it feels like, for my earth signs. We have the six of chalices reverse, okay? You're really missing somebody bad. Like, you can't let this person go. Like, you just, you're clinging on to the past, and it's for, like, stupid bullshit, okay? And you've got some enemies going on. I feel like maybe uh, you're broken up with somebody, made an enemy, somebody ended things with you. We have the Five of Wands reverse. So, there is definitely a challenge that is facing you, a change that you don't want to deal with, a change that was not made by your choice. It's affecting you. And you feel like you're on the defense and you're losing this battle. Maybe because you're losing this battle against this person. But you're not getting your wish. Love is not coming your way, at least with this person. You can't force it. We have the Nine of Chalices. Reverse. Things are not going your way. But in the meantime, what you should be doing for the time being, my cappies, is that you should be focusing on your work. It's slow but steady progress. Things are going to come your way, okay? Things are looking up Millhouse, but you know what? You need to learn how to be motherfucking patient, okay? You can't force people. You can't force people to be into you. You can't force them to date you. You can't force them to be into you. You got to do things. Uh, they have to do things on their own terms. They're on a different path right now. You're on a different path, okay? You're on a different wavelength. Don't take it so personally. Okay. So now this is going to be a general reading for my air signs. So this is going to be for Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Okay. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. What is going on? This is a general reading for the 13th and 14th of August, 2018. So for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, wait. Monday, Tuesday. Excuse me. Monday, Tuesday, August 13th and 14th. As you can tell, I'm tired as fuck. I've been doing this all day. This is one of the that's why I need a break. Okay? I need a break from this shit. I just need at least a day to 
gain my, gain my energy. Um, if you are interested, you can follow me on Instagram to Lori Gemini Tarot. I do at least a once a day general tarot reading, like a cards, little general reading of the day. I do an oracle reading of the day too. Sometimes I switch it up to different decks. Okay. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, general reading for the 13th and 14th, Monday and Tuesday. August 13th and 14th. Okay. I do feel like a good portion of you, there is some love, there is some happiness. Things are looking good on the home front. There is some peace. There's some, there is some sort of peace, some tranquility, but I do feel like a majority of you, this is a fucking front. Like you're posting all this shit, like on Facebook and Instagram and on like Snapchat, you know, you're like bragging to people about how much your life is so great and how much your home front is so awesome. And like the kids are great, your husband, your wife. Everything is all hunky-dory, but this is all an act. That's all an act. And you know why? Because I have the Ace of Chalices reverse, okay? It's not really how it is on the appearances. You don't feel like you're loved. You don't feel that self-love. You don't feel that. You don't feel like you're valued. For some of you, this is what you really want. This is what you're obtaining for. This is the goal. You're hoping to have this partner, this this connection with this person, but you're being rejected. You're being rejected. You're turning away this. They're they're turning the love away from you. They're turning away from you. They're not accepting this love. So some of you are facing some sort of challenge in love, unrequited love. You are on the defense, and. You're going to, you're using your words carefully and having to work with people that you don't like to work with. Somebody that's annoying or nagging. They're just very difficult to deal with. It's like they make you grind your teeth. It's that kind of annoying, but you're working with them to accomplish a goal. So it could be that maybe there are some people that interfered that cause a rift and you're having to kind of like fix up shit, do Charlie work to clean up shit. We have the battle wagon. So you're definitely on the defense about this love. Definitely about the defense about this love. Okay. Yep. Okay. We have the Lord of Shadows. Okay. Now it could be for some of you, you are accepting the fact that you're not going to have this happy ending with this individual. Okay. And you're learning to accept this fact that, you know what, this love that you are that you thought you're going to have with this person is not whom you're supposed to be having this love with, okay? Some of you are coming to that realization. Some of you are going to be facing that realization. Some of you, you're just fucking longing and mourning, you know, wanting this person. You're just wanting them so badly, you know, you just want to jump across the table and just fuck them stupid, right? And you're just longing for them, you know? It's unrequited love. Look at this shit. It's unrequited love, all right? You're wanting this happy, loving family. You want this love, but you can't get it. And here you are. You're looking like a fucking creeper watching them, right? Like fucking stalking them. And you're like on full defense. Maybe some of you are trying to go after somebody that's attached, Stop that shit. If you're trying to go after somebody that's attached, fuck it. They're not interested in you, and you're better than that, okay? You're fucking better than that. Okay, that's enough for my air signs. Alrighty then, what's going on for my water signs? So, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is going to be for two days. This is going to be for Monday the 13th and Tuesday the 14th, August 2018. What the fuck is going on with my... Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is a general reading for all water signs. What the fuck is going on with you guys for the 13th and 14th? Okay. 
card one. Sometimes I have ghosts that bother me, and sometimes just my neighbors are crazy. I can never tell the two sometimes. But that's cool. I'm okay with that. Figure there's a lot of energy going on. I've been doing this shit all goddamn days, so I'm picking up a ton of energy. And always with your water signs, you're so emotional. So emotional. So expressive. Like you want, you have like a flood of emotions. You want to tell me shit all at once. Okay. <clears throat> What's going on for the next two days for you guys? Whoo! Okay, you guys are definitely dealing with a air sign. Gemini, mainly a Gemini that you are dealing with. You may be possibly dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra, but oh man, you are definitely dealing with a Gemini. I feel like some of you are going to be in a three-party situation that may not be in your favor. It may be a riff. It may be some sort of like conflict. You're trying to patch things up. You may be, you're stuck in a three-party situation and things are not looking up Millhouse for you, Okay. Um, some of you may be stuck in a, I feel like for a good portion of you, this is going to be tied in for a good portion of you for my water signs. Not, this is not going to apply for all, but I feel like a strong, I want to say three portions of the cards are about legal matters. Okay. Some of you, maybe some of you are dealing with like a deadbeat dad, some sort of deadbeat that doesn't want to pay their debt, doesn't want to like. But the woman is in a better favor. The woman's righteous. It's like she's pure. And she's like very Vulcan. She's very detached. But this bitch is direct, okay? You're dealing with the Gemini. You're dealing with like two aspects of a Gemini. You're dealing with like Jekyll and Hyde, it feels like. You're dealing with two different fucking people. Jekyll and Hyde. You're stuck in a three-party situation that's not in your favor. It feels like a choice was made from you that was taken away from you. And you're kind of sit back and kind of like left to kind of clean up the pieces. You have the three of three of uh, wands reverse, okay? You left out in the cold. This was not on your terms. How I know that you're dealing with Gemini and it's like two-faced... And it is really like a legal matter. Some of you, I feel like you're going through like a custody battle, going through like trying to get like child support payments. Uh, you know, it's like a settlement. The subtle, it's going to be in your favor dealing with this person, like dead, deadbeat. It's going to be in your favor. I feel like a good portion of you, you're dealing with like a deadbeat dad. This person is going to try to tell nothing but lies. This person is kind of leaving you out in the cold, but it's going to be in your favor. You're going to be going to court. It's going to be on your side. How I know you're going to be dealing with them fucking Gemini. King of Swords reverse. Jekyll. And then we have Queen of Swords. Hide. Right? So, you're dealing with this deadbeat dad who ain't doing dick because he's a fucking retard. And not retard and like he's mentally retarded. Uh, like they have special needs. I mean like, he retarded like, he an asshole. I'm not politically correct. I don't give a fuck. Okay. And then we have... This elegant woman, you need to be the better person, be in court, 
let this person, let this person fall on their own sword, okay? This is what they're telling you. Don't get worked up, okay? This person fucked you over, okay? But you need to just be chill, be Vulcan, step back, let this person be a complete retard, screw themselves over. They're gonna look like a retard in front of everybody, okay? They're gonna look like a giant asshole while you look like a motherfucking princess, okay? Look at her, she's so elegant. She's like taking her time. She's just very patient. Just like tending to her garden. Like she's not stressed out. She's so beautiful. And then we have the standing stone, okay? This karmic law, okay? You need to be very objective about this matter. I feel like a lot of you are going to be pulled into a three-party situation, going to be involved with a Gemini, okay? You're dealing with a Jekyll and Hyde situation here, definitely, okay? And uh, you need to step back and you need to look at this objectively. I feel like the woman is more in the favor, okay? And I feel like you're going to take a look at this and you know... Things are going to be in your favor. It's karmic law, karmic justice. It's natural law. Whoever screwed you over is going to get exactly what's coming to them. You don't need to worry about that. Yeah. And then we have the four of pentacles, okay? You're no longer on the defense. You can let yourself go. You can let go of this baggage. You're ready to go out. You're able to kind of get control of your finances. Now you don't have to worry about your finances. You have control over that right now, okay? So things are looking good for you, water signs. Okay. And final is going to be fire signs. So this is going to be fire signs for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is going to be for the next two days, for August 13th and 14th, 2018. So Monday and Tuesday, August 13th and 14th for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Ooh, oh my goodness. Guys like to show off. Oh man, you guys like to show off. Okay, what's going on for the next two days for my fire signs? What's going on? No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. What's going on with my fire signs? Leo... Sagittarius and Aries. What the fuck's going on? What is going on with my fire signs? 13th and 14th. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? Okay. 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 This is very, very interesting. Okay. Some of you may be agony agonizing over a relationship. <laughs> Not some of you. Quite a bit of you are agonizing over a relationship. Some of you may have received a romantic offer or some of you are waiting on a romantic offer. You've had your eye on somebody or you've been dating this person for quite a while. You're waiting on when things are gonna kind of like be locked down, more settled, like where are things going, you know? Where are we? You know, we've been dating for a while. You know, are we official? Are we not? Is things are going to progress? Are we going to move in? Are we going to have kids? Are we going to get married? What the fuck's going on, right? So you've just been dwelling, getting yourself worked up, wondering how come this person is not calling me? How come, you know, he hasn't introduced me to his family, his friends? Where are we? Is this relationship going anywhere? You're losing a lot of sleep at night. You've been draining your friends, your family, talking about this shit, wondering when this person's going to call. Are they thinking about you? You guys are like at a 
there's a lot of sorrow going on this week. I feel like a lot of you, either some of you are going to be in a, in a position where you may have to choose about leaving a relationship. Because a relationship may not be serving you. You may be leaving one relationship for another. Some of you are at a crossroads and you're kind of wondering whether if you should try to resolve this matter. Try to work something out with them. Try to like repair it, maybe go to counseling. Or let it go or leave. Some of you are maybe wondering, like, whether if you should even hang on to this person, you know? Like, it's not going anywhere. Like, men maybe, you know, I need to let go. This is really mentally hanging on you guys. But I do feel like the universe is on your side. You just need to really be patient. And you need to really look this thing objectively. You guys are at a crossroads. And you definitely need to take your time and make sure your decision is in your favor. Okay, maybe you're waiting for somebody to make things official, okay? How I know that you're waiting on a romantic offer or possibly a romantic offer is coming in. We have the nine of chalices. We have somebody that's possibly that has good intentions or you think that has good intentions that's coming your way. They mean well. They're coming in with honor and love. You know, they come from a good place. Maybe you come from a good place and you want this love. You want this commitment from this person. But we have the nine of swords and you're worrying. You're stressing. You're worrying. This is draining you. This is emotionally draining you. I feel like the relationship hasn't even started yet and you're already like fucking worrying and stressing over something. I don't know what the fuck's up. You are not even in a relationship with this person. Things have not even committed. And here you are, you're overanalyzing thing and you're making this shit all in your head over nothing, right? You're already worrying and stressing over a relationship that hasn't even fucking happened. Like you're making this shit up all in your head. Like, maybe you've been pining for this person for way too long. You've been dating this person for a while, and you're wondering, when is this person going to commit? When is this person going to commit? Okay? This person has good intentions, but I don't think they're able to step through. Right? You've been worrying yourself sick. Wondering, why don't they love me? And now you have the Three of Swords, and you're at a crossroads. Wondering whether this person's worth it or not. And usually with the three of swords, it's heartache. Really heartache. Like heartbroken. Maybe a three-party situation. Maybe they offer their love to somebody else. Right? But we have the sanding stone. Okay? It's justice. Justice is going to be on your side. Karmic law is going to be on your side. Okay? Karmic law is going to be on your side. Okay, yeah. You're at a crossroads. The devil card. Nature, okay? You're definitely at a crossroads between whether if you want to pursue a relationship or not. You have this romantic offer from somebody who has good intentions, okay? And you're worrying yourself silly. Maybe you are in a current relationship and you're wondering this new person coming in. That's what I feel like a good portion of you. Or maybe you're worrying you have this offer for a job, but I doubt it. This seems more like a romantic offer, okay? This person is, they're, they're putting themselves out there and they're making you this offer. Maybe some of it, it's work-related. Maybe you make it, this person is from work, somebody close to, maybe from like your close circle of friends, okay? They made an offer and you're stressing over it. You're wondering whether if this, like whether if you should take this chance, whether if it's even worth it, okay? You're at a crossroads. You're wondering whether if you should take this opportunity, okay? Whether if you should fix the shit that you're in or walk away from it. And I know that you're this is this is not a heartbreak. 
this is not a heartbreak card, okay? You're trying to make a decision. And you're trying to make a decision because we have the nature card, okay? It's either you're, you're in a relationship that's humdrum and you see somebody that you have your eye on. They're making an offer to you and you're considering about jumping out of a relationship and going into this one, okay? This relationship is tempting. But I'm telling you, if you take this, we have the king of wands, okay? If you take this, this person may have good intentions, but they may not really have the good intentions that they say that they do, all right? Maybe you really want to believe this, okay? You're overanalyzing, thinking, I don't know, maybe this is not a good decision, all right? You're out of, between a, like a rock and a hard place. You're thinking it over. You're really thinking this through. You're hella fucking tempted, and you know what? You're going to probably jump on this, okay? You're going to probably jump on this. But the thing is, I feel like there's a possibility that this person may be toxic. This person may be a cheater. This person may be in a relationship or married, all right, trying to fuck with you. And you got to remember, if you know that this person is tied down, is not available, and you decide to jump in, karma is going to come in and kick your ass, okay? Just take that into consideration. Alrighty then, thank you very much. Hopefully that you enjoyed this general reading for all signs for earth, air, water, and fire. See, I got it down this time. I was tired as fuck, but I finally fucking nailed it. Uh, for the 13th and 14th, August 2018. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and do Oracle reading real quick for the 13th and 14th. What does the universe want to convey to everyone? What does the universe want to convey to everybody for the 13th and 14th? Okay. What is the message, moral of the story, advice, words of wisdom, fortune telling that you want to tell, prophecies? What do you want to tell everybody? For the 13th and 14th, pull out some cards. I'll pull out some cards. Even though I'm tired, I still feel like for some of you, you guys need, need some pepping up. Need some pepping up, okay? I don't want some things to be on a Debbie Downer for some of you guys, so... Messages from the universe. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Yes. All right. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you love and care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Learn to love yourself, okay? And never be fucking sorry for it, okay? Don't apologize. Like, oh, I just needed some time for myself. Sorry I didn't return your call. Sorry I didn't text you back. Sorry I didn't get back to you on this. Sorry I'm not a slave to you, but I need some me time. Acclimate. You have the Midas touch right now, and everything and every project you begin turns to gold. Okay? You've got the Midas touch. Quit doubting yourself. Blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings, okay? Some things may seem like it's horrible, you know, or things are not looking at Millhouse, or you feel like you're most Sizak, but you got to remember is that in order for great things to happen, you got to experience pain so you can enjoy the pleasures and the joy in life, okay? So, Thank you for watching this. If you enjoy my readings, please like this shit. Please follow my shit. And then if I get more followers and more watchers, that's mean I can start doing this shit live. So, okale dokale. Thank you very much. Mushy mushy and namaste, bitches.